Item number SCP-1296 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1296's contact information is currently on file within Secure Archive 11. No other security is necessary, as SCP-1296 cannot manifest without use of this contact information. All testing of SCP-1296 is currently carried out in Remote Testing Area 3. All specimens acquired through use of SCP-1296 are to be stored in the Biological Storage Unit within the testing area and disposed of after recovery and study according to standard Biological Specimen Clearance Protocols, as outlined in document cdp one Accounts of contact with SCP-1296 outside of Foundation jurisdiction are to be investigated and addressed as they occur. Description SCP-1296 is a Volker M24 model automobile belonging to a service identifying itself as Dial Lama. The vehicle itself displays minor physical alteration. Baggage bars have been installed on the roof. The rear seats have been removed and the vehicle is incorrectly labeled as manufactured by the Toyota Company. The Dalai Lama Company's contact information and slogans are painted on the side of the vehicle. Upon calling the provided telephone number, callers will be put in contact with the sales representative from Dalai Lama, henceforth referred to as SCP-1296-A. Attempts to find the location of SCP-1296-A or to acquire information not regarding orders have failed. SCP-1296 will manifest within two hours of placing the order at the caller's location, regardless of any changes in location made during the time between the call and the delivery. No maximum range to SCP-1296's manifestations have been found, but it will require adequate space for the vehicle to manifest. Attempts to track SCP-1296 have failed. GPS devices attached to the vehicle have ceased function after SCP-1296 has left view and it has consistently evaded pursuit. SCP-1296 will always manifest with one driver of varying appearance and two to eight llamas. The cost of the order will vary without apparent pattern. Interview Log 01 the following log has been made during testing on September 7th, 2012. Welcome to Dalai Lama. How may I help you? Uh, yes. Could you please explain what exactly your company does? You need a llama? Dalai Lama gets you a llama. Anytime, any place. Like, it's the name of the place. Yes, I know. Like, you call us, you order a llama, you get your llama, not that hard. Where do you get these llamas? Look, man, do you want a llama or not? This is in the 20 questions hotline. This is the two questions hotline. Question one, do you want a llama? Question two, what kind of llama do you want? If the answer to the first is no, then why are you calling? Let me speak to your manager. Nope, sunk that ship. Clearly you don't want a llama. Just want to harass us here. Good day to you, sir. <sighs> okay, okay, I'll buy a llama. Just one llama. Nothing special. Alrighty then, it'll be 45. Cash or credit? Cash. The llama mobile will be there in two hours or less. Have a wonderful day, jackass! Interview Log 02 The following log was made upon delivery on September 7th, 2012. The driver of SCP-1296 has been designated SCP-1296-B. Hey, you the guy who ordered a llama? Yes, that's me. 45, please. If it's all possible, can I ask you a few questions about your... Not this again. You just won't give up, will you? You order llamas, we get you llamas. From the top of Mount Everest to the bottom of the Marianne's Trench. If you need a llama, we'll get you that llama. Now stop being nosy. Yours is the grey one in the back. Test logs. Ordered. Three llamas. Time of delivery. Three minutes. Cost. $33. Result, two female and one male llama. No anomalies were detected in the specimens. Ordered, one pregnant female llama with a brown spot on her left side. 
Time for delivery, 17 minutes. Cost, $50. Assault, one llama matching the description ordered. No anomalies were detected in the specimen. Ordered, one alpaca. Time for delivery, one hour and 43 minutes. Cost, $17. Result, one male llama. Specimen had the hide of an alpaca glued to it. Closer inspection revealed that the hide has been freshly skinned. Ordered, one llama. Time for delivery, one hour and 27 minutes. Cost, $200.02. Result, beep, a Buddhist monk. Subject had no recollection of events preceding delivery. Subject was administered amnestics and released without incident. Ordered, one robotic llama. Time for delivery, one hour and 13 minutes. Cost, $3,561.87. Result, one automation in the shape of a llama. Behavior was identical to that of a biological llama. Ordered, SCP-1545. Time for delivery, 15 seconds. Cost, none. Note, SCP-1545 was observed to vanish from its containment locker upon ordering. SCP-1545 was delivered 15 seconds later, containing two deceased individuals, both unidentified. Autopsy revealed they had been deceased for at least 24 hours. Delivery consisted of SCP-1296 driving past the delivery area at approximately 150 km per hour. SCP-1545 was thrown from the roof by a second SCP-1296-B subject. SCP-1296-B2 was heard to scream, Just freaking take it! before departure. Item number SCP-1545 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1545 is to be kept in containment locker 1545 at Site-40, with access barred to all personnel with a clearance level under 3. Following incident 1296-1545, testing of SCP-1545 with additional anomalous objects requires approval of personnel with a clearance level of 4 on a case-by-case -case basis. No other containment procedures are necessary at this time. Description. SCP-1545 is a two-person llama costume wearing galoshes. SCP-1545 can be opened along its midsection. Its interior is consistent with an average costume of its type, with space for two people, one with their legs in the rear legs, bending over in the midsection, and the other standing in the front with their two legs in the costume's front legs, standing straight up through the costume's neck. A tag near the costume's rear, refers to it as Larry the Loving Llama. SCP-1545's anomalous effects do not become apparent when it is worn. Subjects wearing SCP-1545 will become extremely in character, with the frontal person speaking as if they were Larry the Loving Llama and a werewolf person performing various jigs. SCP-1545 behaves in an extremely docile manner. Subjects inside SCP-1545 are not physically able to exit SCP-1545 without being pulled out, and showed no desire to do so, although they do not assist removal. Unless forcefully removed from SCP-1545, subjects will continuously act as Larry the Laughing Llama until they expire. Note. Most common cause of death is dehydration. Infection is also common due to the non-attendance of soiled clothing. Subjects with a dead partner will still act as their appropriate half until they also expire. Removed subjects show memory of the time within SCP-1545. However, they show no knowledge of its anomalous properties. Subjects do not show any negative attitude towards their time inside SCP-1545, instead behaving as if their actions were typical. SCP-1545 was discovered by authorities and redacted in an abandoned suburban home. The victims had died from dehydration. Autopsy indicated that the railroad operator had died one day earlier and had severe bruising on her body from being dragged throughout the household by the frontal partner. 
SCP-1545 was confiscated by Foundation personnel after its anomalous properties had been discovered. Class A amnestics were administered. Addendum Audio Log 1545A Interviewed D-5362 Having been removed from SCP-1545 Interviewer Dr. Fredericks Forward Subject has been inside SCP-1545 for approximately three hours. Hello, D-5362. Good afternoon, sir. How are you feeling? A little exhausted, sir. Oh, yes, I saw that dancing around. Must have gotten tiring. It was, sir. But you have to keep the people entertained. But surely you would consider leaving to get a drink. Can't do that, sir. It will ruin the illusion. It's a talking llama wearing rain boots. What kind of illusion is that? Well, you just don't know Larry the Loving Llama like I do, sir. End log. Audio log 1545B. Interviewed. D5483, voicing Larry the Loving Llama. Interviewer. Dr. Fredericks. Forward. Subject had been inside SCP-1545 for two days. Voice was extremely raspy due to dehydration. Begin log. Hello, D5483. Oh, I'm not James. I'm Larry the Loving Llama. Okay, Larry. How are you feeling? Super de duper, Doctor. My bum's a little sluggish today, but that's okay. Note. D5484 SCP-1545's railroad operator had expired approximately two hours earlier. D5483 had been dragging D5484. Larry, are you aware of the men inside you? You mean my helpers? Yes, your helpers. My helpers love helping me. Together we bring joy to everyone. Are you aware of that? D5484 is dead, Larry. He's just taking a nap, Doctor. End log.